Thanksgiving is just about here, and AAA expects 55.4 million people will be traveling 50 miles or more from home. It's a 2.3% increase over last year. Now, AAA's Aixa Diaz uh, joining us tonight. Looks like things are bouncing back big time after that pandemic lull. Uh, tell us about AAA's projection. Yeah, more than 55 million Americans are expected to travel over the Thanksgiving holiday period. AAA has been tracking holiday travel since the year 2000, and we're projecting this to be the third busiest on record. 49 million of those people are expected to drive from Wednesday through Sunday. So we look at that five day window and that's when most people travel for thanksgiving obviously some people either leave earlier or come back maybe before sunday or after sunday 4.7 million though are expected to fly and that number is particularly uh important and impressive because that's a six percent jump compared to last year so even though we've been paying uh, a pretty penny for ticket prices for airfares we're seeing that people still have that desire to travel especially post pandemic so we're seeing numbers that are rivaling 2019 we're not quite there yet for thanksgiving but this past year as a whole we've seen that travel is comparable to what it was before the pandemic sure and, and i know you expect most of the people to, uh, to hit the roads and, and drive to where they're going uh, we know it's going to be busy out there timing is everything you mentioned those five days uh, to save people some headache here uh, if you have some flexibility when's the best time to travel should you leave early should you go on thanksgiving day uh, give us some uh, some advice here yeah, if you have flexibility, what I like to do is I like to go just Thanksgiving morning itself. I drive to my family for Thanksgiving, so we leave 6 a.m. on that Thursday, and we're there with plenty of time to have Thanksgiving dinner together and enjoy the long weekend. But if people are traveling perhaps on Wednesday, Wednesday between 2 p.m. and 6 p.m. is the worst time to be on the roads. Try to avoid being on the roads, especially those interstates, on Wednesday afternoon and evening, because what happens is that's when holiday travelers mix with commuters. So leave as early as possible when the sun comes up you should really try to be on the road if you can leave on monday or tuesday even better some people have the flexibility of hybrid work now and remote work where they could leave during the weekend on saturday sunday ahead of thanksgiving work remotely from their destination and then enjoy their their family and friends I, for i'm gonna i'm gonna argue with you on that one. i'm saying leave the laptop at home enjoy your time with well, your family okay. <laughs> yes. and you yes, know what yes. i do like your idea of, of leaving thanksgiving morning because you get there hungry because who doesn't get hungry when you're out on the road all day, right? It's great. Yeah, you just have to plan for snacks because what happens to me is I leave hungry and then during like the five hour drive, I'm wondering why I didn't bring something with me in the car. But and AAA always says, you don't have an emergency kit in the car, extra water, extra granola bars, things that you can snack on on your trip. And obviously like a blanket or two and some a first aid kit if there were to be an emergency on the road. Be prepared, says Aixa Diaz from AAA. Thanks so much. Thanks.